So we now have a function to that tells us which direction we should point our mouse. Um, and it works pretty well. It'll get our robot to head the right direction uh, most of the time. However, there is one situation where it will direct us to make a choice that's less than optimal. It'll still work, but it'll make our robot take a little bit longer than it should. Uh, and that situation arises whenever we have a cell where the neighboring cells are, uh, there's two or more neighboring cells that have a value uh, less than the cell in question. That happens right here where the neighbors are five and five. And it happens up here where the neighbors are seven and seven. So the, the situation here is if my robot is pointed west, Ideally, I should drive west because uh, it takes less time to drive forward than it does to turn. And if I pull a 180 and then head this way, it'll take the same time to get to the target cell plus the amount of time it took to turn. So ideally, if I'm already pointed this way, I want to head this way. Unfortunately, what happens with the the function that we wrote is it looks north, sees a 7, looks east, sees a 5, decides that east is the way to go because 5 is less than 7, looks south, sees a wall, doesn't even consider that, and then looks west and doesn't really consider west because wet 5 is equal to 5 and we're looking for something that's less than 5. So my challenge to you is to come up with a function that if you put your robot here and orient it west, it actually returns a value west instead of east. A function that will take into account the mouse's current heading when making this decision when it runs across a tie. It is possible to do this with just a couple of lines of code in the form of an else if statement tacked on to the end of your existing if statement and your current find best neighbor function.